Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here, what up? Okay, so for two weeks, I'm in the creator's faction. They let us test the dragons from the Soul Dance season. So I tested all four, and this is my review, pros and cons, should you get him, of Marav, the discount invoker of the season. He is a fire boy. So <sighs> let's see. Pros. He's easy to use. He has one of the easiest invoker spell kits that I've ever seen. Super easy, super... If you if you haven't filled invokers yet, he's a good one to start with. Gonna put that out there. Um, he was 50% off. That was super nice. Um, he has 50% damage reduction to physical towers. So, flax, um, ballistas, trebuchets, cannon towers... A lot of stuff he resists, and when you turn it off and on, it heals you. So that's nice. Um, he has an ability to heal, reload, and dodge things. So that's good. That's good stuff. You can just... Tower's coming at you, haha, <laughs> And then you just dodge it. And then <laughs> what are they going to do? Nothing. Uh, he has a fireball and seeker shots. So that's a lot of damage output. And as always, invoker runes. They are rare. So if you need an extra mythic invoker rune or legendary invoker rune which i don't know about the legendary one doing anything for you but um if you need a mythic invoker rune boom you got one uh the cons he has limited ammo as all invokers do the you have to get the mages down because he does have a red and a blue spell so the only thing you can really do when you pull up to an island if you don't get the mages down is use the fireball and then you have to wait on it to reload so that kind of sucks. Um, using the heal makes you vulnerable. So when you turn the heal off, the, the, the resist off to heal, it makes you vulnerable because then you're just taking all the damage uh, from all sources. Like you're just all of it, all of it. Uh, and then the seeker shots are unpredictable. So they just kind of go whew, wherever they want to go. You can't, you can't tell them where to go. They just do their own thing. Uh, so <laughs> in one of the videos, you see that there's a tower and a perch left that I put up. And then Seeker Shots all flew to the perch and just left the, <laughs> left the, left the Dark Flack uh, just hitting me. And I was like, oh, uh, that's what we're doing today. Cool. So in all honesty, if you're not going to go for the 50% off, I don't see Morav being worth it. Just because the whole Fireball isn't strong enough to really take out the Mage Towers on turn unless you're hitting like... A little bit lower than your tier defended so with a shield and a sword buff and all kinds of hp runes and stuff i just don't think that you're gonna do enough damage to take out the mages and then you won't be able to use your spells and you're just like a sitting duck because you can't dodge anything uh you can't use your seeker shots because there's a red mage still up so if you're you're not gonna hit high with this guy defended uh undefended he's beautiful undefended He's one of the easiest dragons to fly, in my opinion. He glides through bases like it's just hot butter. Nothing nothing you can do undefended. Um, he is 50% off, so if you're going for a mythic, you get a decent undefended running dragon pretty quick. Uh, the fireball pew pew just takes out a lot of stuff, and then seeker shots on top of that. Very nice. Um, so he's very quick. Um, for undefended runs, if you're just hunting lumber or something, he has the invoker rune and he was 50% off. So for those three reasons, I would get him. Um, if you are not going for a mythic and you're not interested in just getting 50% off prizes and 50% off of a dragon and stuff, like if you were going to go into this paying full price, I probably would recommend Luzak over him just because Luzak does a lot better defended um and is a little bit more reliable on all bases versus just like certain bases so i would probably pass on morav unless you're going for that 50 percent off or that rune or, or whatever you're going for so i wouldn't pay full price for him but i would definitely pay 50 percent off for him that's how i'm gonna preface it uh he just can't do as much as luzak can and you know weighing the two against each other i want the dragon who can do more defended um because i fly more defended bases than the dragon who can't really do as much defended um and i also like dragons that can hit up a bit because i'm in that little window where a lot of the time i am a tier below the bases that i'm trying to hit just because 
that's the leagues that I'm in. And so I need something that can hit up a little bit more. And this guy just can't do it. So he's a decent little dragon, especially for 50% off. No, um, no real upset to me. I did get him for the 50% off and for the rune that I threw on my nausea. Um, I probably won't really fly him myself. Um, so he'll probably just sit in my little collection <laughs> of dragons that I have. But yeah, for low-level players, um, mid-tier players, he's going to be a pretty pretty good dragon. And yeah, let me guys, let me guys, let me know what you think of him. And I will probably put up some more videos of him as I hatch him myself. Because I did have to give him back through the trial period in order to claim him myself. So he's he's waiting to be incubated um so i'll probably post some more footage of him later on against some you know higher defended bases and we'll see what he can do let me know in the comments what you think of him if you got him if you like him if you love him all that good stuff and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye